Hey everyone, this is Disc Junkie and today I'm going to show you the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre limited edition Blu-ray box set from Germany. You might remember that I previously showed a quite similar box and I am referring to this one which is identical in size. It is also released by the same company. I reviewed this in detail so if you want to see this you can just check the link in the video description. But for today we are going to take a closer look at the new limited edition box set and just like on the previous box, the absolutely spectacular image is by a guy named Jason Edmiston and he's just a remarkable artist. I just, you know, when I first saw the previous boxes, I just felt like, you know, it was so different and so mind-blowingly good-looking. Usually when they release the Texas Chainsaw Massacre for anniversaries and that kind of stuff it always tends to be like the same images being reworked and reworked all over again they really went out on a limb and are you seeing this i mean look at this <sighs> Fucking cumtastic. Close up look at the sticker on the front, and here's the barcode in case you want to know. And the rating is just a sticker. Love it when they do that. And both of these designs uh, were based on limited edition posters. As far as this back artwork is concerned, there's really not much going on, but I do like the idea that they've actually put some detail into making like a stitched edge around the limited edition print here. 459 out of 1100. A bit plain on the back in my opinion, but at the same time, it's an interesting idea, but I would have liked, you know, maybe more stitches or more details or something like an ear or whatever. Let's just get into checking out the contents of this. I can tell you right away, you know, the box sets as such are identical in terms of the quality. It's a spectacular box. Some differences compared to the previous version. Here is quite a different lady face variation of the figure. Give you some detail of what this looks like. Not actually gonna open the box, but I will say quite a detailed figure indeed. He's got a little mallet, got his chainsaw. This is put out by NECA. You can also order this separately. It's not exclusive to this box set in any way. Now there's the barcode in case you want to google this, but uh, quite a nice uh, little figure indeed. And then we get a t-shirt which has like a bunch of these faces leather faces leather face faces they're all the same but they all have this little state of you know like confused cheerful excited and so on i should probably know this i'm guessing these are license plates from the film or do they not have anything to do with anything i don't know sorry sort of off guard here but <sighs> what do you ask of me next up we got some postcards which we can just flip through And basically the back of these are all the same. You know, it's just a postcard basically. Next up we get to the Blu-ray packaging, which is actually limited to 5,000 copies. However, the numbering on the back actually corresponds with the numbering on the big box. But the big box is limited to 1,100. So they basically matched up the first 1,100 copies to go with the same box set of the same number. Yeah, you get the idea. This also has a sticker on it. It's so much better now when they're doing the rating logos as stickers because you know it's one of these things that fans have always complained about it's always been like oh they printed it on there fucking assholes a lot of companies have actually started listening to that and sort of realizing that people don't actually want rating logos huh and here is the brand new limited edition media book which uh, utilizes the same awesome print there's the new spine here we got the new back give you a quick look at what this looks like and there is the barcode going for a close-up on the details just gonna have to freeze frame this in case you want to know about something specific opening this up this is quite an interesting design actually here is the first disc this is a blu-ray disc nothing really much going on basically just a typical skin tone here we have the uh, second disc which is also a blu-ray actually and this is then just the uh, bonus material but uh, nothing else going on in terms of the background there either there's a close-up of the first disc by the way I like I didn't really show it and then we got a small booklet which is you know it's connected to the rest of the package so you can't really separate it very strange graphics seems to be like a overall uh, collection of various posters we've got an Italian one got a Spanish one classic American uh, German poster and then we end with a chainsaw through the flesh there very nice stylish look 
Yushka, like I said, I really like it when they uh, illustrate various posters like that because I'm such a big fan of poster art and such, you know, that's sort of part of why I... Holy shit! How big is this poster? I did have a poster in the old box of this as well, which I'm guessing is basically similar size. It's a big fucking poster. Uh, you know, I can't show it all in frame, so I'm just gonna bring up the poster image on the side here so you can actually see what it looks like. I and mean, this is really nice. We actually have a separate poster, and this is the poster print made by Jason, which is, you know, it's just, it's the same size, but it's just a fucking stunning print. I rest assured, it is a very nice, detailed, awesome looking print and I'm really happy to actually own this because I am a really big fan of uh, Jason's artwork. It is some of the best stuff I've seen for a long time in terms of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Very awesome looking artwork. But that's it! Uh, I want to say thank you very much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed this review and as usual I hope to see you all next time.